To improve patient wait times, you first need to build a system to track them. Ontario's Wait Time Information System, or Registry, known as WTIS, is a good idea. But at many hospitals, it places an additional burden on both the hospital and the physician offices. Meet Bill. Bill is 69 years old and needs a knee replacement. On December 1st, Bill and his surgeon make a decision to proceed to surgery. Because of how Bill's hospital reports wait times to WTIS, the medical secretary has to take time from her already busy day to log into the WTIS website to open Bill's case. Some medical secretaries report that it can take in excess of five minutes to open each case. Bill's surgeon's office doesn't have a modern waitlist management system, so Bill's chart gets put into a pile and he starts to wait. Four months have gone by and Bill's case rises to the top of the pile so she completes all the necessary paperwork to schedule Bill for his big day in the OR. This new paperwork is faxed or delivered to the hospital booking office, who process it, and then forward much of the paperwork to the pre-op team. At some Ontario hospitals, after Bill has his surgery, the medical secretary or hospital clerks must take time to manually enter the case completion information into the wait times website in order to close the case and stop the clock. A proven off-the-shelf solution is being used elsewhere to automate much of this process and retire the 1980s fax machines. With an electronic waitlist management, e-booking, pre-op, and automated wait time reporting system in place, everyone's workload is lightened and more accurate. Real-time information is fed to the provincial registry. Bill's case is entered into the web-based Novari Access to Care system. As soon as she enters Bill's case, Novari sends an automatic message to the provincial wait times registry, starting Bill's wait two clock and reporting on Bill's wait one time. As soon as Bill's case and every other case is added to a physician's wait list, the surgical director, medical chief, and healthcare leadership can see the volume of cases in the pipeline. Bill calls his surgeon's office to let them know that he'll be down south for the month of January. Not wanting to accidentally schedule Bill for surgery during this time, the secretary notes the dates Bill will be away in Novari. That triggers Novari to send a message to the provincial registry, effectively stopping the clock on Bill's wait time. It's now March, and the Novari system alerts the secretary that Bill is quickly approaching his provincial target date and needs to be e-booked for surgery. With a few clicks, she schedules Bill. The booking office and the pre-op team now see Bill's inbound surgical request at the same time. Through the interface between Novari and the hospital scheduling system, the booking clerk reviews the e-booking request and accepts it. With an electronic waitlist management, e-booking, and automated wait time system, all of the stakeholders, like the physician's office, hospital, and leadership, benefit. The burden of reporting wait times disappears. Yet, the provincial registry receives more timely and accurate information. Oh, did I mention that wait times go down and patients like Bill receive their surgery in less time? Novari, access to care.